we are at the Winter Park Historical Museum in downtown Winter Park on the historic railroad tracks four blocks away from where the Langford Resort Hotel used to stand on New England Avenue. And the current exhibition at the museum here is a show that celebrates Park Avenue or downtown Winter Park in the 1960s and 70s. While I not, did personally did not live in Winter Park at the time, I was still a boy growing up in Switzerland, I have photographs that the museum has asked me to contribute to the exhibition that were not taken in the 60s and 70s, but they're of landmarks, hardware stores, and other places, including the Langford Resort Hotel, that very much, even later in the 1980s, when most of the photos were made, and even after that, still very much had that character and that flavor of the 1960s and 70s. So behind me are just a few examples of the exhibition images that, that I made during the summer of 2000, immediately before the hotel closed. There's the famous safari room on the, on the right of me that I understand some important people stayed and had a tremendous uh, flavor and special character. There is the, the antebellum room, which uh, is kind of cutesy and sort of an odd tribute to, to the southern heritage that Winter Park and, and the Langford are part of. And um, there is a photograph here also that shows uh, the entrance of everybody that came into uh, sort of the compound that the hotel was, was in, you know, with all the beautiful tropical landscaping around it. So you kind of drove underneath that uh, kind of looked like a, a garage that was open on both ends. And uh, it was kind of sort of like a gate. You had arrived now, you were there, you were in the little Shangri-La of, of, uh, of relaxation. I'm Peter Schreier. I'm a documentary photographer and have been a resident of uh, Winter Park, Florida since 1978. Uh, I'm also very active in the arts community here in Central Florida as the executive director of Corral, the School of Art here in Winter Park. Working and living in Winter Park and also photographing in Winter, Winter Park as, as a documentarian, it would have been impossible not to at one point or another for me to develop uh, some sort of a relationship with the Langford Resort Hotel. I was trying to remember earlier when I think I first set foot into the establishment. And I think it was in the early 1980s, I was looking for a place for my parents from Switzerland uh, to come stay while they were visiting with me here in Winter Park. I lived in a place too small to really comfortably accommodate them. So we booked them a room at the Langford Resort Hotel, I think it was maybe for a week or so, and then we did some on the road traveling together and have such fond memories and had them for years when the hotel was still there, you know, as I would go over there and have breakfast with them and, and either go to work or do, a, do an excursion during the day. And that was really the relationship where, where it all started between uh, myself and, uh, and the hotel. I think a lot of people felt about it the way my parents did. They felt very comfortable there. They were from Europe. It was a uh, sort of an old-fashioned family hotel. It was very, very comfortable. Uh, as I would have other European family members come, come visit, we always booked rooms at the, Langford, at the Langford Hotel. And then in the mid-90s, when I took on the responsibilities as the director at Crealde, I also started organizing uh, retreats there for artists uh, through a regional educational association that I belong to. I hosted two uh, regional conferences there where educators came from throughout the Southeast. And whenever somebody would stay there or whenever we had a group there, we got nothing but just great feedback. We had great parties there. We had receptions for the artists in the treetop room. We were in the empire room. And uh, I just really, really have a lot of fond memories of it. And I've been a couple of times, I, I did some photography there. One was for a book in the early 90s. And then when it was announced that the hotel would close in the summer of 2000, I asked permission from the Langford family to go in and extensively photograph the grounds and the interior. Uh, you know, everybody has regrets about their careers and I, I wish, my, one of my regrets is that I would have asked for that permission earlier and set aside more time and go and do some portraits environmental portraits as I like to do of, of the people that stayed there, especially 
what sometimes referred to as the long timers, the people who would spend like a whole winter season there and who, who are regulars because I didn't really know very many of them, but I also had pool memberships at time, which was another neat feature of, of the hotel. So, you know, I was at least visually familiar with a lot of the, the regular people uh, that, would, that would go there. But it was really neat in that last summer of, of, of 2000 to go in and photograph the safari room and the antebellum room and, and the bar and the pool at nighttime. I was even there during the very, very last night where they had a, a party with a, with a band that, uh, that played sort of Frank Sinatra, Rat Pack uh, sort of music. The Langford Hotel was such a huge part of the fabric of what, what it was to live and work in Winter Park. And we still have a lot of that today, but having the Langford Hotel gone for a dozen years now definitely took a chunk out of that fabric, that fabric that you can do great business, you can meet people, you can feel part of a community. There's all kinds of interesting cultural things going on. People are coming from all over to be here. And we don't have to live in a 10 million population city to do that. We can do it in a town of less than 30,000 inhabitants. And the Langford Hotel played a huge role in that because a lot of the people that would come here, uh, that would visit here, dignitaries, artists, uh, foreign tourists, they would stay at the Langford. And that was their, their starting point for, for getting to know our community.